One year ago, a local boy was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder known as Angelman syndrome, a condition characterized by developmental delays, seizures, and speech difficulties. Naperville News 17's Kevin Maycheck has more on how his family is working to help find a cure. Just looking at three-and-a-half-year-old Gavin Staub, you might not think he had a disorder. But on May 17th, Gavin and his family joined hundreds for a walk to support research for a disease he has known as Angelman syndrome. This is our first walk. He was diagnosed last April. Come on, Gavin, let's go. The support of our family and friends has been amazing because without that, um, this would be even more challenging than it already is. Gavin's condition is a neurogenetic disorder in which the mother's 15th chromosome doesn't function properly, resulting in symptoms like impaired speech, problems with motor skills, developmental delays, and sometimes seizures. It's often misdiagnosed as autism or cerebral palsy and occurs in about 1 in 15,000 births. Aurora resident Caitlin Brown was diagnosed with Angelman syndrome in 1993. It really changes all of your hopes and dreams for your child because all of those things that you would have expected to happen along the way, my child um, driving a car or getting married or those type of things um, probably aren't going to happen for your child. And, and it's not that you stop having dreams for your child, it's just that they're different dreams. With the help of a neighbor, Caitlin's mom Eileen started the first Angelman walk in Naperville in 1999. Several years later, the grassroots effort turned into the Angelman Syndrome Foundation's signature fundraiser in 30 cities across the U.S. each year, funding $6.2 million worth of research. To be able to see the good that can come you know, from a devastating diagnosis and to see all of the people that want to help and support not only Caitlin but all people with Angelman Syndrome, it, it's, it's incredible. It's incredibly moving, can be overwhelming at times, but um, it's truly a joy to see this. Today, Eileen Brown is the executive director for the foundation, and Caitlin is 23 years old. As for young Gavin... He is starting to produce sounds, which is very exciting for us, and um, yeah, he makes progress every day, so go Gavin! I'm Kevin Maycheck for Naperville News 17. For more information on the disorder or how you can help, visit angelman.org.